Hello everyone, in this uh, video I will be explaining about complexity and growth rate of function. So what is the necessity of learning complexity? When a problem or a language is decidable, it simply means that problem is computationally soluble. Okay? And it, it may not be solvable in practice, but uh, in the sense that in the sense that it require enormous time amount of computation time and memory. Okay? Now we are going to discuss the computational complexity of a problem. Okay, how we can represent the computational complex, uh, complexity of a problem? It can be in the term of order, uh, big O, uh, and uh, uh, in the order big O and omega. Okay, so these can be the sum of the notation, and sometimes we can also represent the complexity of a program or a problem using a using polynomial time or a non-deterministic polynomial time. Let us understand now the growth rate of a function. So what is the necessity of uh, writing the growth rate of a function? If we have a two problems, two, uh, that is one algorithm, if you have an algorithm, one algorithm and you can write in a, uh, the, you can give the solution in a different ways, many ways. Okay? Let us imagine I have written an algorithm and uh, there is a problem and uh, for that there is a problem not algorithm and I will written algorithm in two ways. How we are going to decide which is the best? That is why you need a growth rate of function. So the, to compare these two which is best, you can uh, uh, you can uh, analyze the um, these uh, algorithms you, for a problem using a growth rate of function. So one of the growth rate function is defined, uh, def, uh, defined in this manner. So let us learn that. So now you have a function called f of n and that can be represented as order of g of n. So this is one of the way, one, one way uh, to represent the complexity of a problem. So now what is f of n and, and uh, when we can say that f of n, any function can be represented as order of g of n if, if f of n is less than or equal to c some constant into g of n. That means you have a function f of n, f of n and uh, you have to write, uh, find out c into j of n, c into j of n and uh, tell from when it is going to get a uh, greater value than f of n. So at some point of time from n naught you get a c into j of n is bigger till then you can observe it is having lesser value than the f of n. So that is represented here f of n is less than c into j of n after n naught, n greater than equal to n naught. Okay? So this is a big, uh, big O notation and similarly other notations are there. Now we will relate it, uh, uh, re related to this we will see a problem. Now f of n equal to 4 n cube plus 5 n square plus n 7 n plus 3. Okay? Now prove that f of n equal to order of n cube. So you know what is f of n, order of n cube is nothing but order of g of n. So you have got, you now you understood what is g of n, g of n is nothing but n cube. So you have to find some c value and you have to find some n naught value. You have to find some c value and you have to n find n naught value such that this c and uh, g of n value need to be greater than the f of n. That value is 5, that value is 5 and uh, n naught will be 10. Okay? So say th there can be other c value, c value also. You can, you can apply the value for n value for these functions and c into g of n and you can find out. Okay? There need not be always one solution. c can be changed or n naught can be changed. If a c can be changed, there is a possibility that n naught also can change. Now we have to consider c as 5 and n naught is 10. Okay? And uh, your f of n, what is f of n? This one, this function, I do not, uh, that I will write randomly that this is a function for, uh, this is a line for 4n cube plus 5n square, 5n square plus 7n plus 3 and your c, of, c into g of n can be in this manner, c into g 
g of n c into g of n is c n cube phi n cube is somewhere comes here where n naught is 10. So, it is so this particular function c into g of n is a function is going to take a, a greater value greater or equal value after n value 10. So, n is when n is greater than equal to 10 obviously this uh, particular uh, argument satisfies. So, you can see here when n is 10 phi n square plus 7 n plus 3 will be phi 73 which is obviously less than the 10 cube. For n greater than 10 it is this particular uh, phi n square plus 7 plus plus 3 is less than n cube. So, hence we can say that f of n equal to order of n cube. 